Okay, so today's video is day number 63. It's a teaser of what's to come. I got a whole bunch of new stuff coming. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I want to hear from you guys. What did you think of today's video? All right. Here we go. Okay, so I was told by Jasper to start running, and I don't know much about it, but Yana does. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, thanks. How good. are you doing? I'm fabulous. Okay, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Yana Hempler, and I've been running for a really long time. Okay. Really, really long time, and I've also coached a lot of runners as well. Okay. primarily working with beginner runners who have never ran before and that's what I enjoy doing the most is working with beginner runners who have never ran before. Okay I have done a marathon so I'm not exactly fit in that uh, category but I know there's a lot of people out there that are wondering how to run and this series of videos is going to teach you exactly how to do that. From a running background I know you say you've been running a lot. Right. I checked out your website. How much running have you done? Um, quite a lot. So I first started running in high school and that was the way for me to uh, overcome a lot of the bullying and things like that because I thought if I'm focused on something other than what's going on around me, I can just focus on running and that really helped me overcome a lot. After that, I just got super into it and made provincials. And at one point, I even thought I was going to run for the university and then go on to the Olympics. Unfortunately, that didn't happen because I got injured. Okay. And when I got injured, I had to rethink how I do running. And that's what led me to study all the different things there is to know about running and how to avoid that happening again. So then I learned everything that there needs to be learned about running and I started to run a little. I ran on the treadmill, I did a little bit of cross training on the elliptical, and then I did some weight training as well to strengthen the muscles around all the joints that uh, are involved in running. Okay. And, uh, and then I went on and did my 10K, the TC 10K as my first sort of comeback race. I wanted to run like something around 55 minutes or something like that, or 50 okay. would be ideal. And then I ran in 43.31 or something like that. Wow. Which is where I was like, well, this is my first race back. I wonder what I can do. So then I studied some more, got certified as a running coach, got certified as a personal trainer, kept up the certifications, and then trained other clients to run. Cool. And then another client, he ended up going from 1 hour and 9 10K to 45 minute 10K. Wow. And then another gentleman, he was doing he was doing a marathon and he started with a four hour marathon and he was down to low three thirties. Wow. Boston Marathon uh, qualifying times. Not quite for men, because okay. for men the Boston Marathon qualifying times are a lot faster. Okay. So the requirements for men is half hour faster than You've for qualified. women. Yes, I've qualified six times now for wow. Boston. Congrats. Thank you. And I've done Boston once. Okay. Which How was, was it? It was good. I mean, I ran a 323 there, but I had to walk the last couple of K because it just got to be too cold. Yeah, I've heard that. I was doing it the year that it was really cold and rainy, which was 2015. And then I heard the following year it was really hot, but I didn't do it that following year. Yeah. And then I've also done the ultra marathon. Okay. Which is the Cedar Ultra 24 hour run which I did for Help Fill a Dream Foundation. Okay. Got over 120K both times. In one day? In one day, yes. So 24 hours and basically the idea with that is just to get as many kilometers as you can in 24 hours. Wow, crazy. So you've, you're a, an amazing runner. You know a lot about running. You've coached a lot of people in running. Right. Uh, so may I ask, what are some essentials that people need to know if they're just like just starting out for obviously running shoes but like what what else right so now that we're on the topic of running shoes 
So there is good running shoes and then there is bad running shoes. Okay. So while that's different for everybody based on how their foot is built, I always say that my recommendation is to always have people go get a professional to fit their shoes. So a running store, like a specialty running store that focuses on runners and get it professionally fit. I mean, ever since that happened, my feet stopped hurting and I've been using the same model of shoe since 2011. Okay, I guess I should go get fitted for some running shoes. Absolutely, you definitely should because sometimes it's how your foot touches the ground too. So for some people, they land on the outside, some people run on the inside and I won't necessarily be able to know that without having special, a special eye for it okay. or looking for it specifically. So the, the running shoe store professionals, they actually look at how your foot lands and they recommend the shoe based on that to be able to balance out so that you don't land on one side or the other more. Okay, that would really help. Yes, absolutely, because anytime that there's any uneven forces acting upon your foot, it always transfers up. So if you feel it in your foot, you're going to feel it in your ankle, you're going to feel it in your knee, then you're going to feel it in your hip, and then your back, and then your shoulders a little bit, and then you're kind of off a little bit because of that. Small I have movement. special orthotics, so trust me, I know all, all about good Oh, shoes. yes, yeah. absolutely. So you're actually you're ahead of a lot of people because a lot of people just buy some shoes at some really cheap dollar store or Walmart or Everything something hurts. like that. And then they go for a run, they probably do too much, and they probably run too far on their first day, and then everything hurts, and then they never come back to it again. Yeah, exactly. So the goal with running is to start out, one of the first things that I say to people is to start out with just one block. I mean, I started out just doing one block, so 400 block. meters. Okay, okay. 400 meters, and that's it. Which is like around the block. Exactly. Okay. So one time around the block, depending on the size of the block. Okay. I mean, some blocks are bigger than that, but generally, you know, 400 meters and then just see how you feel. That should take two to two and a half minutes for a beginner to be able to complete that. Okay. Or just start, just run two minutes, then walk a little bit, okay. then run a couple more minutes. And if you feel really good bit. with 400 meters, then what do you go to? then you can increase it to 600. I mean, when you're doing distances under one kilometer, a lot of the rules for how much you increase, I found that they're not really making a huge difference. But once you start getting into the longer distances, that's when the amount that you're increasing by really matters. Okay. But if you're just starting out, you, go, you do a lot of it by feel. So you try to see, okay, how do I feel after 400 meters? How do I feel after 800? I went from, but then again, I also went from 400 to 800, then 1200, then 1500, Okay. and then 5k. So I actually, I increased it a bit quicker. Yeah, 1500 to 5k is like 5000. Exactly. So that was quite a big increase for me, okay. but I also did the 5k really slow that first time I did a 5k. Okay. And then the very first time that I tried a 10k that wasn't a race, it took me 90 minutes. So if, if people were just people that are listening right now, if people for the people that are listening right now, uh, you would suggest start out with 400 and just pace yourself. Yes, exactly. So just pace yourself. Avoid doing too much too soon, and avoid trying to get a personal best on every run, because there is a lot of people out there who will say, "Okay, so I ran one kilometer on Tuesday. Now I'm going to run one kilometer on Wednesday. And I'm going to try to beat what I did on Tuesday." And then I'm going to run another one kilometer on Thursday and I'm going to try to beat what I did on Wednesday. But that doesn't really work because it's just too much too fast. Okay. So uh, that is a great starting point for starting to run. Uh, but if you want to learn a lot more, pay attention to the next couple videos. Uh, in the meantime, go follow y uh, Yana. Where can we find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at YHempler, or you can also find me on Facebook at Yana Hempler Fitness, or my website, which is where I write a lot of tips about running and life lessons learned through running at www.yanahempler.com. And all that stuff will be in the description box below. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and follow along. All Done right. Done one video. Yeah.